Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. This is week two in the Fall Into Cuteness Challenge and this week's prompt is sweater weather and I guess it is sweater weather at least here um, where I live in the um, heart of the Adirondacks. Um, it is windy it's beautiful, the leaves have turned, it's cool, and it's definitely sweater weather. So um, this is going to be a fun little, I'm doing actually three, a little collaboration. I'm not doing just one card today, so I'd love to have you stick around. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. Go back, take a look at some of my previous videos I've done. There might be something there that you you enjoy maybe you haven't seen before um and if you're a returning uh viewer thank you i i'm very grateful um that you enjoy my art and you turn in um to my channel uh on a weekly or semi-weekly or even once a month basis uh, it means a lot to me so thank you so i had to think this is towards the end of the week um i've been busy doing outside chores and buttoning up um, for winter but I was thinking about what I could do for sweater weather and I had a, an old vintage um, magazine let me show you it's, it was a regular in everyone's homes I'm sure I thought I had it out so I had this vintage uh, woman's day and this is from 1965. And I just love, like I said, I'm sure that you um, had these in your home. My mom subscribed to all of them, Better Homes and Gardens, Women's Day, um, anything that could bring her a little bit of joy and put a smile on her face. So I found these gales. I have this one here. They're all decked out in their sweaters. Um, this is a coat sweater, and then this is her card again, and then this is a beautiful, um, these are all hand knitted, um, but I just love these gales, and I've been wanting to do something with them. Um, so this, I think, is the perfect opportunity to use them. So we are going to start with this gale here. She looks pretty serious, doesn't she? Um, Looks like she's waiting for a bank manager or whatever, but she's all, all decked out. I'm using my old, um, oh gosh, what are these called? I keep forgetting, uh, Project Life Cards, um, because I have a bunch of them. Some of them I, I just don't care for. I would never use them um, in my scrapbooking with photos. So I'm using these. I find these to be a nice size. They're maybe a little bit smaller than an index card. Um, and then the backgrounds of each card I took from um, who everyone is familiar with, um, Edith Holden. And I went to the October section and I wanted to see um, what she had in here for October. And I found two really pretty pages and I cut them out and I... Um, cut them to size with these Project Life cards. So let's get started. Um, and I'm putting my glue, as you know, I like to sew around my items. Um, this one, I'm not, obviously, I'm not sewing around. So I'm bringing the glue right to the edge of the piece. And just remember when you use art glitter glue, it adheres very fast. So, all right, so there's our base. And I'm just going to antique or distress the sides up a little bit. I'm using a little bit darker. This is walnut stain. Um, 
I normally don't use the walnut. I use the um, vintage photo, but I wanted these to be just a little bit, um, a little bit darker for fall. I just don't want this to curl up at all. All right, so, and these are going to be pretty, they're going to be pretty basic and pretty simple. I did pull some washi tape. I wanted to accent with some washi tape. This one I haven't used yet, but I thought this would be kind of pretty. And I just thought, I like the black. I bit all my fingernails off. They were looking so nice, and then between um, working outside, but I watched two thrillers, um, and I think they were both on Netflix. One was titled I Came By. It's British. Oh, it's really, really good. That's where I bit my nails off. And then we watched another one with Chris Pine. And I can't remember the name of that one. I think that was on Amazon. That was very good, too. Um, something about, it's not something knives, K-N-I-V-E-S. This is pretty. I think that'll, a little bit of accent with the polka dot will be pretty. Um, but the movie, I Came By, oh, it was right up my alley. I really like a good thriller. So I bit all my nails off because I, I didn't have a bowl of popcorn. I wasn't working on anything. So I had nothing to do with my hands to keep them out of my mouth. So this was part of the page too. And I just ripped this little October out here. And I'm adding that. And I like the, the leaves of sycamore and small that was small maple so we're going to get her on here and then i have because the prompt um is sweater weather i'm also using like a fall i have here um i have autumn autumn is my color and I typed these out and then just printed them out on my on my printer and cut them. Autumn is my color, so I think I will. I think she'll be good. Will she be good right about there? Um. I think I might I might change them out. I might put I don't know if I want to put her there. I'm going to work both. I'm going to work two cards at a time. This is the other card that I have. And um I think I'm going to stick. I had her over here like that. I'm going to stick with this. But for some reason, I thought I had her more in the corner. This is where it's like, oh, come on, Barbie. Does it really matter? I think I have her like this because I wanted this leaf to show. And then I have over here, autumn is my color. Yeah. So let's get her down. Sometimes I I second guess myself. I get going on something and I have it all planned out and then I I wonder if I actually had it right. And I'll tell you something else with these old vintage magazines, I never put the glue in the middle um, because it leaves a, um, it leaves streaks for some reason. Uh, 
um, if I were to do this across or down, you would see you would see the little lines on this side. And I don't know if it's because of the tip, the metal tip, making a slight indentation on the image or if it is just the glue. So I'm going to cut down just a little bit. I can see better now with my light on. Okay, so there's our girl. Yeah, I think she's waiting for the bank manager. She doesn't look real happy either. Something is wrong with her account. So this one here, autumn is my color. And I'm just kind of haphazardly putting these on here. I don't want them in a straight line. Um, I want it to look like fall leaves coming down from the trees. And into my swimming pool making a mess, which is not covered yet because I had to order a I had to order a new cover. And I woke up this morning and we had a it was a very, very, very windy night. I didn't even think about the pool. And, um, oh my gosh, what a mess. Leaves in the bottom, leaves on the top. Let's see. So I've been battling with the pool all day. I called the pool company and they said, we aren't coming out there today, Barb. We'll get you, you know, we told you we'd be there this week. Oh, I was so mad. It's just a never-ending battle today. little bit more. Let's see. Sometimes I'm not real good at placing this. Um, placing the uh, washi tape. That's why I like to stitch around use that little piece there there so there is that one just adds a little bit of extra with the washi tape so this one autumn is my color so we're gonna set her we'll put her right there um, this scale here which I'm going to cut around I didn't notice this I'm gonna cut around her handbag This one is simply going to say um, sweater weather because I that is the prompt and I want to make sure I get that in there. Let's get this little bit of black. And I have her right about there because I want to cover this up. You can see I didn't waste any paper. I wanted to use that leaf, um, but I had to put a little something up there. Um, actually, I think maybe maybe I'll put this here because I would really like to line this up on the side. Um, 
But again, I want that green leaf to show. So maybe I could just put this a little bit here so it's not so, what do you think? And then you can see the now autumns. Um, I think maybe I'll do that. Because if I move her over here, then all we're going to see is um, yeah, I don't want that. We're going to put her here. Okay? So we're going to around her right this side yep Okay, this here, we will put this right about here like this. And again, we've got sweater weather. And I might just put a little tiny bit down the side here of washi. Just to, just to add a little something. It's kind of a big white space there. And that will tie all, all of the cards in together. Okay. Today's kind of a quiet day. I don't have a lot to tell you or chat about. Just there's nothing major going on. Let's see, with this, maybe I can put this over here a little bit just to tie this down. No, I don't want that there. All right, I'm going to leave that. I think that's good, just like that. So there's, now we have autumn is my color and sweater weather. Those two are done. So we will get them over here. And then the last one, our little pretty and pink girl. Um, this one I already went ahead and I did a fun little stitch, a little different stitch um, on this side here. And I tied it off. I pulled my strings through, tied it off on the back. I thought that would be, be a fun little stitch instead of just your typical zigzag or straight stitch. Something a little different. And 
and she is going to go right about here. So we will get her down first. Okay, and she's got a little sparkle in her eye, doesn't she? She looks like she could be a lot of fun. So for her, I went with a little different. And these are, um, these are a song lyrics, a lyric, song lyric. And... I had never heard of this group, but I really like this song, and I'm going to be listening to them more often. And it's, I wouldn't say it's based on their song lyrics. I may have, um, I may have tweaked it a little bit. So we have this here, and I think I'm going to add a, just a little bit of this up on the, top here. We'll see how it goes. Because I do want them to be tied in. All right, so this is a fun saying. This is a little, this is a little spunky and um, okay. So this one is and I'm going to use my tweezers because this has quite a few little So we've got first word is no. No shirt, no blouse. <laughs> Just my sweater. I thought that, I think this one is really cute. No shirt, no blouse, just my sweater. I can picture that too. I don't like to wear I don't like to wear um, shirts or a blouse underneath a sweater. I just like to put my sweater on. Um, so I thought that was a very appropriate saying. So here are the three cards for the um, Fall into Cuteness Challenge. This is week two sweater weather using my vintage gales from my Women's Day book. And um, the background, again, is Edith Holden. And I think they, these came out really cute. So thanks, everybody, for watching. If you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments. Um, give me a, I guess a thumbs up is a like, right? Yeah, yeah. And again, if you're new, I'd love to have you subscribe. 
and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.